Over the years I've seen a lot of different ways of sticking prints down to the bed using glue sticks, using hairspray, then you've got to use scrapers to get it back off and risk seriously hurting yourself every time. As a happy accident, on my i3 Mega it arrived with an ultra base print bed and this stuff just rocked my world. This stuff works amazing, no glue, no stickiness, no having to mess around with sharp objects so I decided I'd upgrade my CR10 and today I show you how I did that many many moons ago and I've been happily printing ever since. This episode brought to you in part by PCBWay. Check them out at the link below for your next electronics project. They offer competitive rates for all PCBs, parts and assembly as well as 24-7 tracking of your order from start to finish. As always, you'll find the links to relevant parts or discussion down in the description below. A lot of different suppliers out there sell the ultra base print bed. You need to probably make sure that it is the ultra base brand from uh, Anycubic. There's lots of other ones and I can't vouch for how well they work, but the Anycubic one, the actual ultra base is simply amazing. So mine I just got from Amazon. It comes packaged well. It is glass. It's semi-transparent with a little bit of a protective plastic on it. Just remember to peel that off. And that's pretty much it. You're ready to go. So this is my CR10. I go ahead and remove the glass from that. I just use binder clips to hold mine on and that served me well over the years. Easy to put on, easy to remove, easy to work with. You want to say one last goodbye to your gluey, sticky, hairspray covered glass. No longer will we ever have to deal with that again. Make sure there's no contamination on your build plate before you're going to install your new glass. Otherwise you're going to have it sit on level and potentially damage the glass. Here I clean up the new glass with a little bit of Windex, nothing to it. Make sure there's no goopies or protuberances hanging around on the bottom of it and we're going to set this in place right on the CR10. We'll do that same clean up on the build plate itself just to double make sure we don't have any goopies on there that are going to cause us trouble. We set the glass down on the print bed and fasten it down with the binder clamps, nothing to it. It's important to make sure that you don't use any harsh chemicals or any abrasives on the ultra base print bed. The textured glass is really sensitive to being scratched or abraded in any way, so don't use anything other than a soft cloth ever on it and you'll be just fine. And take your scrapers and put them far, far away. You will never need them again. Make sure you level the print bed with the normal methods that you would use. I just use a piece of paper and run the print head around to all the corners of the bed. Nothing to it. If you look really closely at the filament as it extrudes on the first layer, you should see it flat on the bottom against the ultra base and kind of domed on the top, still slightly rounded, not completely squished into the bed. That way you have a good adhesion, yet when the bed cools, it'll be easy to remove. With that said, don't touch your prints until the bed is cooled completely. That's the key to using an ultra base glass. Once your bed is cooled right off, the prints just pop right off. They don't stay adhered anymore because the print bed has changed size so much and the texture just makes your prints just fall off. I, the physics is actually magical. And that's all there is to it. You'll get your first layers laying down like this. You'll print, it'll just print as normal, but when it comes to the end, when things cool off, your print will just fall off the bed. Just wonderful. Hope you enjoyed. Stay safe out there. Don't cut yourself on any scrapers. Cheers, guys.